Hello, uh, my name is Katarina Schmidt, and I'm a 2022 Borlaug Ruan intern. Uh, I'm currently at uh, Swarthmore College in Swarthmore, Pennsylvania. It's where I go to school. I'm studying biology and statistics, um, but I'm originally from Des Moines, Iowa, where I attended the Youth Institute and the, the both the state and the global edition. Um, I did my internship um, over a couple months in the summer with Professor Yu Yi Zhao at the China Agricultural University, which is in Beijing, um, which is a little bit of a, a time jump for me. I was operating 13 hours ahead of my schedule in Des Moines. Um, but her lab focuses on study of differential gene expression in a number of crops, um, currently maize, corn, um, which I didn't personally focus on. I did similar experiments to what they're doing in their lab, except with Arapidopsis, which is a traditional model organism for all sorts of plant genomics. Um, so the, the essence of the project that I was working on was looking at abscisic acid, which is a super important plant hom hormone, think like, um, think like cortisol in humans, like adrenaline, things that we talk about all the time, except it applies in plants. Um, it's involved in a lot of stress response in the environment. So when there's a drought, um, when there's a flood, abscisic acid tends to kick in. And the, the point of the project that I worked on was looking at the mechanism for how that kicks in. What genes are affected uh, when abscisic acid is present, what genes get turned off, and we did that by looking at a huge spreadsheet of the entire genome of the Arabidopsis plant um, and how much of each gene was expressed relative to normal levels when that plant was exposed to abscisic acid and a number of other stress hormones, um, which, if you analyze it statistically, should give you an idea of what the abscisic acid is turning on and turning off, and from there you can sort of derive what's going on physically. Um, I had a pretty fun time doing it. I definitely wasn't as involved in it as I had hoped, but that's all um, I can really expect doing a remote internship 13 hours uh, behind. Um, but it's definitely important research because as like things like climate are changing, we're seeing a lot more environmental stressors present. Um, and corn and soybeans, which we study in Iowa, but these plants that present abscisic acid are essential to being able to feed the world's populations. So understanding how the plants are going to respond to environmental stressors is definitely important to make sure that they produce as much as they need to going forward. Um, I enjoyed getting to get my hands on a little bit of statistics in here. Um, because I'm studying statistics, it's always nice to combine the ideas of biology and stats together. Um, and I also learned a lot about communication through this. Um, I communicated a lot with some of UE's grad students and some of the undergrads. There was a wonderful chat group uh, where we would share pictures of our college campuses with each other. That was kind of nice. Uh, just to engage a little bit with the, the cultural aspect of the internship that is usually missing when you're entirely remote. Um, but my thanks go out to Yui, my thanks go out to all the students that helped me out, um, and obviously everybody responsible for the Borla Gruen internship. It was definitely a valuable experience in the long run, even if I lost a couple of hours of sleep. <laughs> Thank you.